up crap kids today i'm here by myself all the kids are busy and today i'm here to bring you another drawing tip or trick today what i'll be doing is i'll be showing you a an easy way to make three-dimensional block lettering let's get started all right i'm just going to start off by drawing a block letter n and it's gonna be a little difficult because of the diagonal but um there are they do have a lot of straight lines involved so i'm gonna start with an n and if you have not seen our block letter tutorial video. Just check that one out if you're not too familiar with it. That's a nice, quick, easy way to, to learn how to do block lettering. But if you've already got the block lettering down, um, you'll, be, you'll be ready for this, which is just a quick way to show three-dimensional block lettering. Okay, it's a quick, not perfect letter N. Now, in order to give it some three dimension, what you wanna do is you wanna pick a direction. You can either go diagonal right, diagonal left, uh, I should say diagonal right up, diagonal left up, diagonal right down, diagonal left down. I almost always go right up for some reason. And that essentially means we're, we would be picking a point way up here to have our lines fade to, or that's, this would be the perspective and our lines would all be drawn to that dot. We're not actually gonna draw a dot. We're gonna take a little bit of a shortcut. And the shortcut is pretty good. It's not perfect, but it looks pretty good. Basically, you select an angle, okay? So let's say I select that as my angle. So my lines would all be fading off to that point. This one would technically be fading off to that point as well. All right, so I would select this angle. And then what I'm gonna do as my little cheat is I'm gonna use the same exact angle or as close as I can get without measuring it on every corner, every spot that needs to fade back, I'm gonna use that angle. So it's like that. I'm gonna do that there. I'm gonna choose the same angle here, here, and here, okay? Now, this line connects straight up and down. It's gonna mimic that edge, okay? And again, these aren't perfect, but it's a nice little cheat. Oh, I forgot one. I have to do this one too, okay? So it's the same angle all over. And when I do this angle, I'm gonna mimic the slanted part of the end. It's gonna go there, and this part is gonna go straight up, okay? So now we have a three-dimensional end. Pretty cool. Um, it helps if you color in the side that is fading back, or another trick that some people like to do is they like to do a line technique. It's quicker than coloring. It still ends up looking cool, gives it some geometric patterns. There is a three-dimensional N. All right, next I'm gonna put, ne I'm gonna put next to it, oh, I needed to do these tops, he's being forgetful. Okay, and uh, next to it, I'm gonna put a letter with some curves in it because curves can be difficult. Okay, so the next letter I'm gonna do is show you is a letter that has a little bit of curve to it. Okay, so let's do an R. There's an OK freehand letter R block letter. Now I'm gonna do the same trick that I did here. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna pick an angle, just like this, because it's next to it, I wanna use the same, same angle. Um, and I'm gonna just go back as our little cheat. Again, thinking of it as coming back to a point, but really just doing a cheat, picking the same angle, looks like this. These aren't exactly the same, but it's gonna come out looking fine. Okay, now on this, on the R here, we have a point inside the letter that can fade off into the right. So we're gonna do that in there as well, okay? This will go straight up. This one here will mimic the curve underneath it and go right into the side of this R here. This one's gonna go straight up. This one's gonna come right out of the bottom here and go straight down on, an, on the angle. Of course, mimicking that angle, all right? Now, this one is gonna fade off as well to that same point. And what's tricky about the R here is in the curves is that this curve is gonna fade into the side here. It's gonna fade right into about here.
okay? And that is how you would do a letter with some curve to it, okay? On this piece, I'm gonna show you another method for shading that part that goes back. And if you wanna just keep it to black and white, we can just use some, some cross hatching, okay? Um, so you, there's multiple ways you can do cross hatching, but um, I will just do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some X's because if I just, if I do it too similar to this, what's the point, right? So just do some X's. So it's just another way you can make it look kind of neat. And there you have, I know that's only two letters, but um, you could use the same principles for every letter. Again, check out our block lettering video. Once you feel comfortable with that, be ready to move on to something like this. Now I'm gonna color it just for fun. Cool, just a fun way to play with colors. I can't do a countdown alone, it's just, just weird. Here's what I came up with. Um, again, started out with just a block letter and then showing you how to pick up these lines headed off in one direction um, and the strategy behind how to do that. And the same thing here with the R, showing how to do it with a little bit of a curve. Um, if you would like to see more of these episodes, reach out to us on Instagram. We'll just let us know. We'll do any letter you want. Um, but otherwise, follow these same tips and techniques going forward. Hope you uh, had a good time learning about this. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>